Hi everyone, so this is lesson four, but I'm going to be a bit sneaky. Because it's just using Subat, um, and it's leaving it in terms of U and L from G. I'm just going to leave these couple of questions. I'm going to look at this bit, then we can work on the exam questions in class as well. Right, so I've got one here that says a ball is projected with a velocity of 28. The range of the ball is 64. Find the two possible angles of projection. Right then. So I've got it potentially going really steep or really shallow. And that's 28 meters per second. We'll call it alpha. So for my velocity vector with an angle alpha, that'll be 28 sine alpha, so it's opposite the angle. And that's 28 cos alpha, because it's next to the angle. Now, I know the range is 64. The only other common bit of information is the flight time. So I might want to work out the flight time, because that works for both, doesn't it? There. Right, so I know, I know it's 64 for horizontal. That doesn't really help me. But what I do know, um, well, I could use a 64, to be fair. Um, let's go with doing vertically. So I know that S is zero, the positive is going up. U is 28 sine alpha, V not fussed about, A is minus 9.8, and T is what I want to find. Now the T I'll be finding in terms of sine alpha. I might leave it as sine alpha. Uh, right, so let's have a look at it then. So I'm going to use s equals ut plus a half at squared. So 0 is 28 sine alpha multiplied by t plus a half times minus 9.8 times t squared. Now I can make a quadratic out of this. So we'll take it over to the other side. But I can't use poly because I've got two unknowns. So if you imagine, if I took out t as a factor, I've got 4.9t minus 28 sine alpha is zero. So what I've got here is t is nothing. So that's when it's set off. So that's fine. But this one here is 4.9t minus 28 sine alpha is nothing. So if I take the 28 sine alpha over and divide by 4.9, that gives me a t value I can use. Now then. Hmm. I can also work out the time horizontally. <laughs> So horizontally, I know that S is 64. I know that U is 28 cos alpha. Not bothered about V. A is nothing. And T is 101. Once again, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. But the AT squared goes... So I've got 64 is 28 cos alpha uh, times t. So 64 over 28 cos alpha is equal to t. But the times are the same, aren't they? So this is a little bit sneaky. I'm finding the times in terms of t, but the time is the same. So my 28 sine alpha over 4.9 is equal to 64 over 28 cos alpha. My 28 will cancel. Oops. No, they won't. I'll take the 28 up there to be squared. I'm going to take the cos up there to be squared. So all that's going to go up there. So that's going to give me 784.